Hello everyone, um, before we start this video, I just wanted to let you guys know this is my first YouTube uh, video, and then, um, you know, take it easy on me, you know, I, I'm sure this won't get a lot of views or anything like that, but, um, you know, just, I w I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity since this whole pandemic and I have a little bit more time, so, you know, if you hear me <laughs> rambling on, it's because I'm just, you know, giving my thoughts and uh, trying to figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do is say in the videos because I'm not really sure. Um, but you know, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, the dog's name is Loki. It's super sweet. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, I, I was a little surprised that he, you know, he shed it so much and I got so much hair off of him. But you know, it is what it is, and uh, I was able to do you know a good job and fly every time. So enjoy the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Alrighty guys, here's Loki. We're gonna start showering him. Hi money, hi. Hi. Hi, no, see. Money, can you see? Make sure the water is okay. His hair. I mean he doesn't have that much. He was here maybe three weeks ago or a month ago. His parents take great care of him. You was spoiled one, aren't you, buddy? I didn't know. So yeah, a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Gabriel. Um, I am a dog walker and dog groomer. I've been dog walking for five years, almost five years now. And dog groomer for maybe six months, seven months. Yes, I do that in my garage, as you can see. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do, especially with the virus and the pandemic. So, what we're gonna use is this de shedding uh, shampoo by Ferminator. It's done me pretty well. Um, helps take some of the hairs off. No, no, no. Helps with the taking the hair off. So, I think we're just gonna scrub that in. I know, buddy, you're so sweet. I know, man. It's funny, I just walked them. Um, it's probably what, six o'clock right now? I just walked them like four hours ago. It's like, it's like, it's like we didn't stop seeing each other. So funny. Um, I know, buddy. I know. It's, uh, these dogs are interesting. The the pom pomskis. Uh, I think they're called pomskis. The husky and pomeranian. Uh, pomeranian yeah. thing. They're interesting dogs. They got a lot of energy. I know, buddy, I know. I know, it looks like I'm using a lot of product. I just don't want to dilute it. And I actually got a great deal on that uh, shampoo. I think I bought it on shoes. It was like, it was on clearance for $1.99 or $2 or something like that. My wife got it for me. So there's no need for me to, uh, I know, buddy, no, I know. There's no need for me to really kind of save it. I have like 20 of them. I got that in the conditioner. But yeah, we're just going to be doing a regular shower, some de shedding. Hopefully, the shedding is uh, minimal. Uh, the last time we were here it was kind of crazy. Uh, this stuff, you definitely don't want to put it in the dog's eyes. Uh, it's not tearless or, you know, doesn't. It affects their eyes. If you get it in their eyes, they can get irritation. So you don't want to use this on the face. Well, I don't. I don't use it on the face. It's too risky for me. Right, we're gonna do the worst part for him, which is the glands. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, there's nothing there. All right, buddy. You're good. You're good. You're good. So yeah, I usually, I usually start with the body and uh, work my way up so they don't shake so much. Well, well as I was saying, <laughs> um, he started shaking, but I know, buddy, it's so crazy. Um, sorry if you can hear the AC, uh, it is hot in New Jersey. It's gotta be at least 95 degrees today. I know, 
I wish I, you know, a lot of my inspiration for doing doing this YouTube video on this YouTube channel was, was a, a groomer. Her name is, I think her channel is called Rover. And uh, she, she does videos just like this. And I, I figured, hey, I, with as much time as I have now, I might as well make YouTube videos if I'm gonna be grooming dogs, you know? So I figured, hey, this may be another channel for people to get entertained. Um, but a lot of stuff that I do on a daily basis, you know, I start, I wake up in the morning, um, I dog walk, you know, we have around 20, 25 clients, we have an employee, so we do dog walks, and then I try to do all my, uh, my grooming appointments on the weekends, so I have some time off and I do a lot of investing, so, uh, you can expect some channels about investing, that's gonna be interesting to make. I've never really put myself in front of a camera like I am now, so should be definitely interesting. Hey, buddy, no, don't drink, don't eat that. That's, no, Loki. So yeah, you want to leave this on here? Maybe five to ten minutes, Loki. No, I know it tastes good, but no, five to ten minutes. I know, buddy, I know. Um, yeah, I, you know, I obviously, I'm, you know, I'm not the biggest dog groomer, you know, like I don't have all the, the fanciest gadgets and, you know, look at, I just have my soaps there, you know, like I don't have all that fancy stuff, but, you know, I gotta start somewhere. So, I mean, I started, you know, a lot of our clients, dog walking clients, had so much demand for dog grooming and they kept asking me over and over again if I, you know, we wanted to hire somebody that was a dog groomer having as an asset, as an asset. Um, but we couldn't find anybody, so I took the plunge and became a dog groomer. And it's been good. Kind of happened at a weird time with this whole pandemic happening, so. But it's been doing us well. Uh, it's just another asset for the, you know, the pet care business for us. I know. Look, look at this face, look at his eyes. I know, bunny hunting. Hope you guys can see that. I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't want to get close to the eyes or anything like that. You guys can see that. I know. You got a blue eye and a brown eye. Um, it's so funny too, cause <laughs> um, I saw a video on her channel and <laughs> it was about a, a dog that was super mad at and. Uh, a, Maybe two days ago, I had a dog that was extremely matted. I mean, most of my blades went dull, went dull because they kept getting caught up with their mats. It was crazy. It was a, it was a Labrador. Yeah, it was a Labrador though, so. It was quite the experience. I think it, it took me, you know, I, I try not to shave dogs. So, you know, I, I did take my time to take some of the mats out. But it, it, it did take me a long time. It took me about four and a half hours, almost five hours. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I know, man. But yeah, I got this uh, this bathing, well, I don't know if you can call it a system because it ain't that fancy. Um, my wife got it off of Amazon. Um, but I'm hoping to upgrade here soon, you know. With the increased demand that I, I've been getting, you know, it might be time to get something fancier. I know, I know. I also watch uh, on a, a guy on YouTube. And, you know, since this is my garage, yeah, I watch this guy on YouTube. His name is, uh, his channel is called Obsessed Garage. And, you know, it's just what the name is. He's obsessed with, like, his garage and cars and stuff like that. And, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm into cars. Um, but he recommended these floors. They're called Swiss Tracks. And uh, I, I mean, I absolutely love them. They hide all the hair and dirt, so, you know, if I don't have enough time to vacuum it up when the clients get here, it doesn't look absolutely terrible. So, I'm gonna finish up here. <laughs> we'll, we'll get them done, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and Loki's back. Um, 
I gotta dry him. You can tell already that a lot of his coat is coming off. I hope you guys can see that. And that that Ferminator stuff really works. If I sound a little more muted now, it's because I have a... Loki, how did you get out? Yeah, this guy, he's, he's an escape artist. Yeah, he'll get out. I'm using a face mask, and you know, I, I don't really want his hair to get in my lungs. So, um, start blow drying him now, and hopefully you guys can kind of hear me, or we'll just go through the process. So you guys can see how my hair comes off. We're gonna change the nozzle. Put a little bit more straight. Yeah, I have a small, it's just a small air, um, like dryer for dogs. It's not that powerful, but it, it's done, it's done me well so far. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have a lot of under. I mean, you can definitely see some undercoat there, but. They do a good job with them, man. There we go. Now you guys can see. Oh, yeah, look. A lot of undercoat coming out now. Yeah. Check it out. Either it's into them or he really likes it. I, I don't know. How's that feel, buddy? Oh, you like it. Oh. I know, buddy. I know, it is. Over here. Finish drying up, clean up, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, we'll be right back, buddy. Hi. I know. Wait. All right, guys, I'm back. Look, you keep trying to figure out what I'm doing with the camera. <laughs> He's like, what is that? All right, so this is an undercoat, uh, undercoat rig. And we're just gonna do easy, simple, fake movie. Hold on. Just, you know, not trying to hurt him or anything. We're just trying to get some of this hair off. I know, I know, it doesn't, it, it shouldn't hurt him. See, well, I shouldn't say it shouldn't, it doesn't hurt him. Just dig it into that fur while I'm looking. This guy's an escape artist. I know, I know. It's for your safety, man. Oh my gosh. Look, sit. Sit. Yeah, these, I've, I've definitely noticed that this kind of breed, it's very, you know, it's high maintenance. I mean, it's a different type of high maintenance because, you know, I, I get golden doodles and labradoodles and cockapoos, all the poos, and they, those are high maintenance, you know. If you don't keep up with them, they'll get knotted up in it, you know. You know, I, again, I, I don't tend to shave dogs, but, you know, I guess if I have to, you know, I, I will. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, I don't really like looking at golden noodles and labradoodles and the doodles and seeing them all shaved. I, um, I mean, I, I personally have a, a labradoodle and a golden doodle, and I, I cut their hair short, but I don't shave them. You know? I don't know. I don't even know who I'm talking to, really. I don't even know how many views or what's gonna happen with the video. It might not even get to anybody. You know? I think I would like, you know, if I got 10 views, I'd be happy. I'd be happy with 10 views. I forgot to use this as an outlet, talk about, you know, you know finances, dog grooming. I Maybe mean, I can tell some funny stories, and, you know, my horror experiences. I have plenty of stories. I know, money, no. I have plenty of experiences on <laughs> horrible dogs. You seem to have a lot of hair right here. A lot of undercoat. Alright, we're gonna start here because this is the easiest spot. He's just letting me do it. So. No. Oh, he's trying to get out again. You got me sleeping. Oh, you know, I know there's a lot of different methods on how to get this out, but you know, this is a, this, this way works for me. You know, I'm not saying it's the right way, but it works for me. So, you know, it might not work for other people, but it works for me. I know, buddy, I know. I'm sorry, I put too hard here. Buddy, it's okay. We'll change it up. We'll get one of these. It's a little bother me so much. You know, it's not, it's not getting that undercoat. It's not the biggest problem. This only thing is that undercoat. But yeah, you know, my, this, this is my first time using a GoPro, so I know, buddy, I know, it's okay. And it keeps heating up, so you know, I'm gonna stop it here and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this and see how much hair comes out. 
Right. Well, guys, I uh, got a little crazy. Um, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. I thought that he wasn't gonna be as bad, but uh, it's crazy how much undercoat he had. And that's just a little bit because there's some on the floor. Uh, sorry about the lights. We were trying to take like a, a picture for the profile of the video. But yeah, this is what uh, this is what this breed consists of. It's a uh, it's a lot of maintenance, a lot of brushing. Um, you know, Loki here is a champ. He's super sweet. You know, but you know, I've definitely experienced other dogs that are not as sweet and. Uh, a little more difficult but it's crazy i just can't believe that it ended up being like that so dur during the video if you guys heard the ac it's because it's hot you know like there's not much i can do about that like you know this is my garage so you know i'm doing the best i can with what i have and he still has undercoat coming out it's crazy um but yeah uh, i hope you guys like the video um all i got left is to brush his teeth do his nails and he should be ready to go um, hope you guys liked the video. Um, hoping this gets at least 100 views, you know. But um, consider subscribing. You know, I'm, I'm new to YouTube. This is all new to me. So, you know, consider subscribing, liking the video. If you guys have any questions, you know, put them in the comments. I appreciate all of the, the help with that because, uh, you know, it'd be great. Hey, no, Loki, don't do that. But Loki, we're signing out, buddy. Bye, say bye. Bye.